going to be making is a raw zucchini marinara. So this is like having spaghetti, but raw food style. So how we're going to make the noodles is using this tool here. It's called a mandolin. And the noodles are going to be made out of a zucchini. So this is going to be your pasta. So Wendy is going to demonstrate what we do with the zucchini and how this mandolin works. So what you're going to do is just cut the ends off the zucchini. Cut it in half and it goes right on top of this mandolin. And please demonstrate. You just move it up and down. It's very easy to use. And out of the bottom, the noodles come out. We're going to take a look at these noodles momentarily. Okay. So we're going to show you what these noodles look like when they come out right here. It basically makes pasta noodles. Now you could use any kind of summer squash for this. Uh, I prefer to use zucchini. You can peel them beforehand. It's good to keep the skins on because that keeps more nutrition in there. So we're just going to go ahead and do the other half. So this is going to serve one person to use one zucchini. It could serve up to two, but I would say this would be a good meal for one person, the servings that we're going to make today. So we're just using one zucchini. Great, now we're going to take this pasta and we're just going to stick it right into our pasta dish. There we go, right into the dish there. Now, what we need to put on top of this is a marinara sauce. Now, this is very, very easy to make at home. What we're going to be using is one cup of fresh tomatoes, and this is going to go right into the food processor. Now, I like to use the Cuisinart food processor. It's a really great tool to have if you're getting started on a raw food diet. You could also use a blender, but the food processor is a lot of fun. Uh, so we're just going to throw all these ingredients right in there. So here's one cup of tomatoes. Roma tomatoes work best. I'm using a regular tomato today. You always want to get organic when you can. I'm also using sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm using a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. You can find them soaked in oil. These ones weren't soaked in oil. Either or is fine. So those are just going to go right on in there. Then we're going to put in the juice of half a lemon. So we're just going to squeeze that on in there, like so. Nice and easy. Okay. Now the next ingredient that's going to go in is three leaves of fresh basil. Now if you have any other fresh herbs, you could throw that in too, like oregano, rosemary, thyme, anything like that, uh, anything you want to put in. So we're just going to put a little bit of basil in there. Now the next thing I've got is one to two cloves of fresh garlic. Now garlic is a wonderful antibacterial, antifungal, gives you lots of energy. I love to throw this in there. I'm always on the extra garlic side, so you might want to use a little less. I'm using two in this recipe. Okay, so we're nearly done here. This is really easy to make. We're just going to put in one tablespoon of olive oil. Now this is going to give it a nice round creamy consistency just to hold it all together, having that little bit of fat in there. Okay, so we're nearly done. What we've got next is a teaspoon of dried herbs. Now these are herbs to Provence. This is the one that I'm using today. You could also use the fresh herbs. I'm using the dried herbs because that's what I had. And that's just also going to go right on in there. You know the rest of it? Okay, we're nearly done. We've got a half a teaspoon of Nama Shoyu. This is an optional ingredient. Now this is an ingredient that's often used in raw food recipes and what it is is a fermented, naturally brewed soy sauce. This doesn't have any additives in it, doesn't have any preservatives, and it adds a little bit of a salty, multi flavor to it. So I like to put that in to all of my sauces and dressings to round that out. Again, it's an optional ingredient. You could simply just use a bit of salt instead to give the salty texture. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit of sea salt in as well. So we're just going to put a little shake. That was just a little pinch of salt. Okay, and then we're going to put that Nama Shoyu right on in there as well. So there you go. That's it. That was it. That was our marinara sauce. So here we go. We're going to put the lid on the food processor. Now, when we put this on, this is a great time to do your blender dance. I always recommend you do a blender <laughs> dance. Um, you know, when you move, you're going to assimilate your food a lot better. And when you're smiling, that's just going to make your body happy, make your cells happy, and you're going to get more nourished. So here we go. We're going to just... Oh, oh, we'll make sure we got plugged in. That was a false, false alarm there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. We'll start holding this up. Do our blender dance. <laughs> <laughs> you can even do it with a broken arm. <laughs> All right, we're just going to get this on here. All right, this is the final blender dance. We're getting ready for our delicious raw zucchini marinara. <laughs> okay, here we go. One. Two, three, four, and ta-da!
da. Okay, so there is our marinara sauce. Take a look at that. That's our marinara sauce that was so easy to make. And what we do with this is we're just gonna pour it, like so, right on top of that zucchini. Beautiful. Now if you'd like to garnish this, you could take a little bit of fresh basil and put it on top, or take a little more of your herbs to Provence and just shake that on there, a bit of black pepper, a bit of sea salt, and there you go. That's your dish. That's to serve one person, raw zucchini marinara. Alright guys, we have been partying <laughs> over here at, with Bethany and the raw food, and it has been phenomenal. I just finished every meal. And I am just blown away. I, I'm almost speechless. I know it's hard for you to imagine that I could possibly be speechless, but I am. I mean, it was just really, really good. And what I just found out is that a lot of the meals that you create, you don't even use a book. You just, you're creative and you play around, you have fun, and you're not scared to experiment. Should most people be like that? Yeah, I think so. You know, the great thing about eating raw food, when you make raw food recipes, you can actually greatly change the proportions of different ingredients and still end up with a nice meal. For example, if you're making a dressing that has nuts and maybe some tomato juice in it, you could use less nuts and more tomatoes for a more liquidy dressing or more nuts and less tomatoes for a thicker, creamier dressing. And, and that's really good because a lot of people may see just a, a, a crate of produce and just think of just a salad. Whereas you can see a crate of produce and you can have almost limitless different things that you can do with them. That's what I like, the variety and what's possible. I didn't even know that some of these things were possible with just zucchini or zucchini made from a cucumber or just um, the, the, which seeds did you use? The chia, chia seeds. seeds. She just made something incredible with chia seeds. Tapioca pudding. Tapioca pudding. Stay tuned, guys. I will have that on the blog, that recipe, because it was amazing. So it's just certain things that I am seeing something so simple be made into something so yummy and delicious and out of this world. So I want to thank you. It was just amazing. Any final thoughts that you want to give to people as it relates to eating or just any, maybe one tip. I just want you to know that the main thing about eating raw food is you feel good, it's easy, and it's just more fun. <laughs> I like it. On that note, winners choose to be fit. Whiners try not to quit. So are you a winner or a whiner?